Hey everyone, here's a quick guide on where to find all 20 of the lighthouse stashes. Let's jump right into it. So the first stash we're gonna be looking at is close to the Southern Road Extract, which is just down there. Once you get to these tires on the road, all you have to do is just jump off the rail here and look for this bigger bush. And right to the left of this big bush is our first stash. Once we're done with that stash, all we're gonna do is run to the end of the street towards the bend. I also wanna point out another great thing about the lighthouse stash runs right now is that no one else knows where they are. Almost every stash you come across will most likely be untouched, but actually there's the island we're looking for just down there. So let's go over and run towards it. Okay, and once we're at the island, the stash we're looking for is just in this bush right here. Once we're done looting the stash on the island, we're actually very close to our next stash. We're just going to leave the island here and take a left around these trees. I'm going to run along these rocks we see here. To the wheat. And as long as we keep our eyes peeled on the rocks, right there in between the tall one and the small one is another stash. Yep, looks like we have to prone for this one. Once we're done looting this stash, all we're going to want to do is run on down this way past these cottages. And we're going to be looking for a sand hill. Pretty much points right in the direction of our next stash. Let's go ahead and run through these. There it is there, actually. So this hill kind of goes up this way. We're going to want to look in between this big tree and this bush. And when you look right in the middle, we'll see this very hidden stash. This one took me a while to find. So once we're done with this stash, we're actually going to want to make our way towards the road. And we're going to be looking for a blue car. And just behind that blue car, there's going to be a little ramp. So there's the blue car right there. And there's kind of the stone ramp. That's what I call it anyway. But we want to walk ourselves up the stone ramp. And get to the top of these cliffs here. Jump up these. Just before we get to the burning crash helicopter we're gonna turn around and go south up this hill and we're looking for these trees and bushes and once we're finally up here we're gonna be looking for this small bush right here right next to this bigger bush and if you go to the back side of the small bush we'll have our next stash once you're done looting this stash, all we're going to do is run towards the burning helicopter site now. Careful not to fall to your death while navigating these cliffs. Okay, so once we are on land next to the helicopter, all we're going to have to do is run towards the road, kind of this way behind the campfire. And we look for this lonely tree over here. And just behind this lonely tree is our next stash. Once we're done with this stash, we're going to run back towards the helicopter. And we're going to pass these green boxes here on our left. And we're going to get on the road. Once we are on the road, we're going to be looking for the black SUV before the USEC chalet. So once we hit the black SUV, we're going to take a right here and look for this bush. And in this bush, next to these rocks, is our next stash. So the next stash we're going to be looking for is actually on the Sniper Rock. In the Sniper Rock area, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So we're going to make our way over down to the main road. And we're going to try to climb the cliffs of the Sniper Rock. Okay, so once we are on the cliffs, this is where we came from. There's the crash site up there. We're gonna walk up this dirt path. And once we're at the top, take a right and over these rocks here. We're gonna look for this tree. And just to the right of this tree, we can see our next stash. Just to give you guys an idea of where it is on the sniper rock, we're just about across from the USEC chalet. 
Once we're done with this stash, we're actually going to head towards the beach. The southern beach. And we're going to be looking for the sunken house. That's kind of half in the water. Because our next stash, and be careful when navigating down these cliffs. But our next stash is going to be right under the houses. Or the house. Okay, so once we get to the houses here, we're gonna look for this little bridge. And under this bridge, if you go through the middle of the bridge, the next stash is gonna be right in between these two rocks. The next stash, we're gonna start from the central road area. The sniper rock is just there. And the resort with the blue roof, the one close to the middle map is just over there. And the first thing we're gonna do is run down to where the Marin key is, or the Marin car. We're gonna run up this hill. Just over there is the Marin car, and we're gonna follow the road here. This one's pretty easy to find once you get this pathing down. Once we pass the sign ahead of us, we're just gonna be looking for the white car. And as soon as we see that white car, we get close to it, and we take a left just in front of it, and we look in between this big tree and this tree, and right here is our stash. So this next stash is going to be along the main rogue bridge to get to the rogue camp. So just down there is the rogue camp. Here's the yellow bus. Just down there is the town and there's some more of the construction cars. We're going to take the lower approach across the bridge. It's safer from the rogues and landmines, which is very important here. So while we're running to this next stash, keep to the sand. You don't want to be running up on the grass down there. There are mines, and you don't want to be stepping on them. So we're going to run along this beach until we hit a pile of rocks. Okay, so once we hit these rocks here, it's safe to just climb on top of them, and we're going to do a little bit of rock hopping here as we jump along these peaks. But we're going to stay up on top of these rocks, and we're going to look for a section of land with a bunch of trees. So here we are with the section with a bunch of trees in between these two lakes and our next ash is right there on the ground. You can see it just behind these trees. Alright guys, now once we're done with this stash, we're just gonna go and try to hop on these rocks across the water. You can walk across the water, it's just faster to jump across. And we're gonna follow this coastline down until we see a few pipes. Okay, so once we reach these pipes, we're just going to walk until we get past them. And then in this lower ground here, we're going to take a small right and go inland. We're going to be looking for this bush right here that's in between all these trees. And just sticking out on the left side of this bush right here is our next stash. Now for this next stash, we're going to keep along with the coastline in the direction we were going. I'm gonna climb up these rocks right here. In order to get this next stash properly, you're gonna to have to kill the rogues on Warehouse 1. I do have a road guide coming soon on how to easily kill them in a guaranteed safe way. So that video will be coming out shortly. For this next stash, you wanna run along these rocks here. And you wanna keep going until you see a small rock at the base of these ones. So let's jump up here. We're gonna be looking for a small rock. There are these small rocks there. And if you just go down, you can see the next stash is hidden behind right here. So once we're done with this stash, all we're going to do is cross the street and enter the hole in the fence up here by the train yard. Okay, so once we are in the train yard, we're just going to follow this back fence, the most northern part of the train yard, until we come across a green trailer. All right, so there you can see the green trailer surrounded by a bunch of trees and bushes. We're gonna wanna check the bush just in front of the green trailer. Right here, close to the fence, and right there, it's very hard to see, is our stash. Once we are done with the trailer stash, just go ahead and run to the left here along this concrete wall, and we're gonna follow this wall all the way down until we see the water barrels.
Okay, so once we arrive to the area where we see all these water barrels, the stash is gonna be just in the corner behind this platform, right here in the grass. So for this next stash, and now we're really getting into the rogue camp, by the way, we're gonna be ignoring the rogues for the purposes of the stash guide. We just jumped over the fence here off these water barrels. So there was the last stash. And we're gonna make our way towards this big fire. I think it's tires burning. So the smoke right here is a great indication of where you wanna run for the next stash. And once we find the smoke, we're gonna run by it until we see these orange reddish pipes. Okay, I lied, there are gray, but right underneath this gray one on the floor next to warehouse three, we have our next stash. So for this next stash, we're gonna go back towards the tires there where the smoke is, and just over there was the last stash we just looted. And we're gonna run up the cliff here. Now there are no mines this way, but we will be approaching mines soon. I will definitely point that out when we get there, but up here so far, you're totally fine to run up here and we're going to hit a lake. Okay, so once you hit this beautiful lake, by the way, you wanna take a right, staying with the lake on your left. And I'm gonna pass a few of these bushes and trees. Just before we get to this smaller island area here, there's a stash in the grass. Now this one is like virtually impossible to see. It's crazy, yep, there it is right there. So unless you know about this, no one's ever gonna loot it. But just before this massive tree, next to this one, next to this one, just before that landmass right there. So after we loot that stash, there is the landmass again, just for reference. We're gonna head up on these rocks here. And once we get to the top of these rocks is where we will see our minefield. So be very careful about this one, but if you follow this path, you'll be just fine. So there's the sign right there, all up that way is a minefield, okay? So do not go anywhere up there. But just before the minefield, you see a small patch of wheat amongst all of those trees right there. It is perfectly safe for you to go up and loop the minefield, or <laughs> loop the stash that will be right in between these two trees just before the wheat. So there's the stash right there. The next stash is actually back up the pathway towards reserve. So you wanna come back and stick to the left side. The cliffs on the left are safe. The minefields are up on the right here. Just hug the left side of this path here. I'm gonna run until we find a lake, a small pond. So once we hit this lake, we are totally safe from mines now. So you don't have to worry about any mine action going on. I'm gonna want to keep the lake on our right and hug this left cliff here. We're gonna keep going until we pass the wheat field here and we're gonna jump through this little gap with the trees. And right here in this bush or just in front of it is our second last stash. So once we're done looting our second last stash, we're gonna keep running in the way we were going with the cliff on our left. And we're gonna go until we see these like wheat fields. Not this little patch, but a little further. And right here, so once we start seeing the larger wheat areas with the concrete fence along the back wall, we're gonna run around these big rock formations and around this last one is a bush and our last stash is just gonna be right here next to the rock in the bush. So now you know how to loot all 20 stashes on my house. I hope you found the video helpful, but most importantly, I hope you get some amazing loot. If you have any more questions about Escape from Tarkov, feel free to pop into my Twitch where I stream every other day, or put a comment down below as I do read all my comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.